Hello, this is Julie. Welcome to the Thrifty Paper Garden. I thought I would pop in for a quick video and um, show you some of the things I picked up today. My husband took me to an estate sale today. It is like seven degrees in here in Minnesota and it basically was an indoor garage sale which got me thinking that more people should have indoor garage sales in the winter time. I think they would have lots of customers because people get cabin fever and want to get out and it would be something to do inside but gets them out of the house. Anyway, I was able to find um, some more planners. Actually there were quite a few. I was surprised at how many planners there were with being the first of the year. I thought people would have snatched them up and I picked these up mainly because well it is the first of the year but I have sold four Franklin or excuse me three Franklin planners in one day timer in the last couple weeks so all four of them that I listed sold fairly quickly at a nice price so I found this one and it on one side is a little like purse and the other side has um, uh, like a six ring binder for a calendar. This is not branded, but I thought if it doesn't sell, I, I like that one myself. This is a um, Franklin uh, Covey planner canvas. Just this nice faux leather. It's a nice little binder. And then this one had, I guess they call this a pouch page finder and on the Franklin Planner site these themselves are three dollars so I found that and then this one and this really looked like it had paint on it and it just it looked um, not very nice but all I did is put a wet cloth and look at it it looks beautiful but the looks of it at the thrift store I wouldn't have given it the time of day and that's probably why it hadn't sold so I think I'm going to start taking this is probably not a new tip but start taking baby wipes with me and you can just take a quick swipe and if it comes off you're good if it doesn't you might want to think twice about picking it up unless you have other ideas on how to remove stains but this one is really a nice one and it has um, there's one page that's written on it's got you know phone contact pages and note pages and a bunch of business card uh, pockets and an, a, a zipper pouch. So um, I got to get those listed quick while people are still looking to plan their year out. And then I found this. This is wherever coffee pot. It's a percolator pot. I have found this is the third stovetop type coffee pot that I have found. The other two sold fairly quickly at a nice price. The only thing with the other ones, they were bigger and they were kind of a pain to ship, but I decided this one would be perfect. The only thing glass on it is this little piece right here, so you just keep it from getting dinged up. And people like the stovetop percolators, so good deal. I found this pattern. It is to make an extra large Santa suit. So for this price, um, I got everything at Savers 30% off today, but at this price, I can tuck it away till next Christmas and probably take it out maybe even in um, July. You know, if people are going to make something like this, it could take them a while to make it. So I'll take, um, put that away for a while. And then I um, found these before, the Spanx. I sold two that I had um, spent $3 on, and I sold them, the two pair, for $25, like within a couple hours of listing. And the lady left me very good feedback. And if I don't sell, these would fit me. We all need pantyhose. And then I'm trying to get into books a little bit. Some people have been encouraging me, and it just I look at all the books at a thrift store, and it's just overwhelming. And these two I actually got at the um, estate sale for 50 cents a piece. And this one actually my husband is interested in, but I'll see what, what it does online. If not, he can have it. This just looked like something interesting. I got some nice pictures. 
and it's going for not too bad on eBay. And this McCall's Treasury of Needlecraft. This is from 1955. Um, I was looking at the pages and being a crafter. Uh, I might like to keep this for myself. I'm not sure. We'll just might list it on Zibit even. But just some really neat pictures. I do have a, a mini collection of sewing type books. And then I've heard that these uh, Swedish angel chimes, the picture here, um, sell fairly well, and indeed they do, and my mom has one, and I'm going to ask her <laughs> how, um, how she feels about it, if she'd like to give it to me to sell. But anyway, people are buying these chimes, so they need the candles to go with them. So again, I will put this away for a few months and bring it out when people are thinking about buying candles for their Swedish angel charms and then I found some napkin rings I assume these are brass I have done fairly well um, selling those and then some of my favorites but at this particular savers I think they have heard that I am selling linen because seriously the sheets were twice as expensive as the last time I was there so I'm gonna to have to pick and choose and hopefully garage sales this summer will have more selection of good sheets but this is um, Pottery Barn Kids green gingham checked curtains two panels this I just thought might be kind of interesting if someone a kid is into the solar system it's like a, a pillow sham Winnie the Pooh valances and this is some Waverly fabric it's a nice piece it's probably about two yards and there was let's see Hillsdale is the pattern it's just beautiful so I haven't sold any fabric before but I thought this was you know it's a good name brand I'd see how that will do then some more par pottery barn kids pillow shams this is like there's the Pirate's Parrot treasure chest, their map, just um, some fun decorations for a kid's room. I found two of those. And this is actually Nautica, which is a good brand. And it is like a quilted pillow sham that does have some embroidery on it. And I have done quite well with pillow shams. And I love it because they um, sell for fairly cheaply and they are so easy to ship and someone else can put the pillow in it. The few pillows that I have sold of course are big and bulky and not the easiest thing to ship but pillow shams are a breeze and people want quick little decorations to add decoration to their rooms. Now I looked at this um, Christmas tablecloth and again, I sold a couple of Christmas tablecloths over the Christmas season, and I can put this away. And my husband was with me, so he opened it up with me, and we inspected for stains and spots. And it looked like a pretty nice um, tablecloth. And then I saw the tag. Of course, I in my personal life, I am not a, a person that worries about brand names, but in my selling, it seems like brand is everything. This is Lennox. So I picked that up. I was pleased with that purchase. Then I found this interesting. It was interesting enough. And of course there are some on sale on eBay, but it's Eagle Creek Packet System. And it's just, from what I can tell, just a little system that helps you neatly fold shirts and pants, 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 and here's a little instruction, and you fold it this way and that way and the other way, and you get yourself in the end a neatly um, folded shirt, and like, where's the pants? I guess that's the pants. That would be, I suppose, good for packing you know, for a trip or something, so kind of maybe like a businessman's type thing. I don't know. I'll check it out. And the last thing 
I found at the state sale. Look at this. Vintage Dayton's Merry Christmas box. I wish they had not put the tape on it because the tape is taking the um, paper off. But it was a box of like handkerchiefs. I love this kind of stuff. And I saw this first one. It's little nautical um, anchors and it is made in Italy. And the box I think was like three dollars. I ended up telling the guy let's make a deal. So I got it for a little bit less than that actually. And I started looking at some of these beautiful handkerchiefs. And I'm not really sure on eBay or Zibit if there's any market for this. But I told my husband the price I paid was was nice just for the entertainment value. Look how beautiful the embroidered little flowers. There's a yellow one and a pink one. And then I saw one that I could barely make out that it had a monogram on it. So I pulled it out. Now there are 26 letters in the alphabet last I checked. And this is my last initial. And there are three handkerchiefs in there, different ones that all have B on them. So I was pleased as punch to have picked these up. Just beautiful. Just um, in Switzerland, made in Belgium. Look at that one. Just and even right down to the Dayton's box. So those are a few of the things that I found today and tomorrow is supposed to be another cold one so I'm just going to hunker down and get listing. So thanks so much for stopping by. We'll talk to you later. Bye.